Well, let's take a look at our weather forecast for our Sunday. Is it going to be dry or wet again? Oh, how about a little bit of both, John? Right now we're looking at a, kind of a touch and go forecast the next couple of days, round after round of showers with a little bit of dry time between. Let's start it off with the current radar, and we're on the dry path right now for the rest of the night. A couple of showers north of I-80 up toward the Lake Erie shoreline. A couple of little sprinkles south of I-70 over into central Ohio. Other than that, we're looking at just mostly cloudy skies. Here you see the temperature in Pittsburgh, 47 under cloudy skies. It's comfortably cool, seasonably cool, and it's downright cool or chilly as you head into the laurels and ridges. Look at Indiana at 39 degrees. Now, Somerset was down to 37 degrees about an hour or two ago. We're starting to see the impact of this warm front that's going to push through here the next 24 hours, and our temperatures are actually going to warm a little bit overnight. So lower 40s to the east, and then look at that. We're still at 50 in Morgantown, 48 in Washington, and 51 over into Cambridge, Ohio. So that warm air is going to slowly filter in from west to east. The high today only made it up to 50. Our normal high high is 60, a good 10 degrees below average for the daytime high. Just a couple of uh, hundreds of rain around the area, but that drizzle persisted most of the day. And that's because we have an upper level low that's off to our north. As it pushes through to the east, it will give us a couple of little rounds of rain. The next one will be a few sprinkles tomorrow morning. But the rain you see down to the south in through Kentucky, West Virginia, that's in association with that warm front. And that's going to lift through here later tomorrow. So the rest of tonight, a little sprinkle or two possible, especially early tomorrow morning. But the first half of tomorrow will be drier than the second half. There you see through late morning, early afternoon, fairly dry, not sunny, but dry. And then here comes rain with that warm front after 2 o'clock. So anything you want to do tomorrow, get out earlier in the day. Here comes rain through the afternoon and the evening. We might even have a couple of rumbles of thunder later tomorrow evening as the trailing cold front pushes through. Monday morning, fairly dry. And then later in the afternoon, here comes yet another round of showers and these will stick around off and on through the day on Tuesday. So 45 overnight tonight, cloudy and cool. And here is your seven day forecast, 61 tomorrow. So we're about average tomorrow for the high. But take a look at your hourly forecast. Again, the first half of the day, that's when you want to get out. If you have any leaves to rake, if you want to take a walk, do anything, it won't be great out, but it will be drier than if you wait until the afternoon. And then as we head toward Monday, look at this 69 degrees. The morning commute, you may see a spotty shower late afternoon on your drive home. It will be raining, but it'll be nice and warm at least. And then we drop all the way back down to 55 for the high Tuesday with that cold front. A couple of morning showers. Wednesday, the only completely dry day of the week. If you want to get out and view some fall foliage, Wednesday might be your day, even though it'll be overcast. We have a lot of areas reaching peak color this week. So Wednesday might be your day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, temperatures hover right around 60 degrees. But the trade-off is even though the temperature will be very normal, we're looking at a chance of showers each day as we head into next weekend.